as if it's like I'm wide awake and I'm standing in time. No one disappearing. Hi my honeys, really quick, I don't wanna make this intro super long just because we do have our neighbors um, upstairs moving in so they're making so much noise and my room is right next to the stairs. So I'm gonna try to make this intro really, really fast. Hi, <laughs> so for today's look, look, for today's makeup look, I'm only gonna be doing the eyes for you guys. So this is a look that I have. I wanted to create something very fun, artistic, I have blues, pinks, glitter. I have the whole nine yards on my eyes right now. I am so obsessed. I really love the way that it came out. Um, um, and I hope you guys are inspired by this makeup look. If you guys are, do not forget to tag me on Instagram. I should be on Instagram by tomorrow, actually. Yay! I'm going to go back on. It's been two long weeks, and I'm just ready to see you guys. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's eyeshadow look. I love you guys so much. Besitos, and enjoy today's video. All right, guys. So I'm going to go into the Stacey Marie and collab with Be Perfect. Um, and taking my Morphe M506 brush. Now I'm using the smaller detailed brush because I want to start to create, since we're going in with different colors, I just feel like when I use something more precise, um, it really helps me really lay the colors that I want in that specific area. And then we'll just go back and blend them out with a more fluffier brush. So I'm going into the shade called Funky from the Be Perfect palette and I'm going to place this towards the inner corner. Now it is more on the neon side so I just always like to make sure that I'm building up the intensity and this palette you guys, the blendability is crazy. It is so good. Um, this palette seriously like never fails me. Um, to blend out that shade, I'm going to go into the shade called Foolish. Um, it's more of a corally peachy shade. And we're going to place this as well in the inner corner, but then start to blend out um, the shade Funky. Um, of course, I want the lighter shades in the inner corner because then we're going to gradually work um, outwards and start to darken up that outer corner to give it like a nice ombre gradient effect, which you guys will see um, very, very soon. Next, I'm going to go into the shade called Wasted. Um, it's a nice purple shade. I'm going to lay that one right next to Funky. Um, and this is what I was talking about you guys with whatever color I decide to go next I just kind of do it in like sections um, and just work on that section But of course with whatever we have left I do start to blend it in towards that nice pink that we place and then extend it outwards and get it all blended and ready for the next shade that we're going to lay down so that way they both marinate really well um so that way it's always great to just work in sections um remember you're not in a rush <laughs> whenever i'm going to be creating makeup looks like this or eyeshadow looks um like the one that we're doing today i just always like to take my time i'm in no rush you know right now i think i'm watching uh, have you guys seen that series from netflix of a blind girl it is so interesting i'll link it down below if i remember um so i just like to just chill take my time and play with some makeup. Um, and next, I'm gonna be going into the Be Bella Dreaming and Color palette, picking up that nice dark purple shade. Since the Be Perfect palette does not have a darker purple, that's why I went into a different palette. And I'm kind of applying it right on top of it, but also towards like right next to it um, to darken it up a little bit more, still using that Morphe M506. And then like I mentioned, I did switch brushes and I'm picking up more, a little bit of Wasted in that dark purple and just blending these two shades together and then um, picking up a little bit of Funky and blending it right on top of it as well. Um, next, I'm going to switch to a different palette, which is the Be Bella one as well. Still using that Morphe M506, I'm picking up a more turquoise blue shade and I'm going to start to warm up that outer corner but if you guys are noticing I'm still keeping these eyeshadows in the crease even though we're doing a half cut crease um, this will really help once we do cut the crease we can see like those different colors um, and then going back to this um, Morphe brush and going back into that nice turquoise color and a little bit of wasted and that dark plum shade and just blend all of these um, together um, and then I'm going into this even darker blue <laughs> from the Cool Breeze palette from Be Bella. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing and lay it right next to that other blue shade that we did. And picking up that Morphe brush again, picking up the shade called Wasted, that dark plum shade, and a little bit of the first shade called Funky to just make sure that these are all blended. And it's okay if you guys go into Funky and you apply it on top of that blue. I feel like, I don't know, they blend really well when you do that. 
Um, and next, I'm gonna take this dark blue back to the Be Perfect palette, and we're gonna start to place this towards the outer corner, and this will be our main shade uh, for the outer corner. How many times can I say outer corner? <laughs> like 20. <laughs> Now with this blue, you guys, um, it does take a while to build up, but that's why I like the, that Be Perfect palette because once you build up the colors, like, oh, it just drools. I drool literally when I um, play with this palette because they, the eyeshadows blend so well. They marinate very well together, even though, you know, there's pinks, purples, oranges in this palette. I don't know how they did it, but I love that all of these colors blend um, well. Um, and now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back into that peachy corally shade called Foolish and just going right on top of it just to blend out any harsh lines. Then I'm taking my um, Urban Decay Eden Primer and I'm gonna start to do a half cup crease. Now, as you guys are seeing here, I'm taking it really into the inner corner, like really extending it out, um, and then start to carve my crease. Now, I do go a little bit higher than where my natural eye crease is because you guys already know that I love when my eyelid looks bigger. I don't have that much lid space, so whenever I take my concealer or my primer a little bit higher, um, it always gives the illusion that I have a lot of, like, lit space. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But anyways, I'm taking this other Morphe brush just to blend out the concealer and make sure that there's no harsh lines because after this, we're going to go back into that shade called Wasted and as well as that dark blue shade called Mood from the Be Perfect palette. And I'm going to start to just um blend out that harsh line from the concealer and pretty much i'm just patting going back and forth um, but mainly just staying in that specific area um going into another palette <laughs> from the um morphe 35s sweet oasis palette and taking this really light pink um shade and applying it all, all all over the lid and then it just with absolutely no product going back to that same morphe brush and just blending out those harsh lines. Um, so yeah, pretty much set that and then make sure that you can't see where the eyeshadow starts and stops. Make sure it looks nice and soft and blended. I believe this is my Morphe 239S brush. I will link it down below for you guys. But I'm going back into that shade called Foolish and applying it towards that inner corner. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just remove my eye tapes from e.l.f. And as you guys can see, it looks so nice and sharp. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with my Neutrogena Makeup Wipes just to clean up any fallout that we do have under the eyes. Um, and then I'm gonna go into the Morphe Gel Eyeliner in the shade Jet, but it's just a black eyeliner taking this be Bella um, eyeliner brush I'm gonna start to just create a half wing um, pretty much inner corner and then stopping it towards the outer corner but we're not gonna create a wing because we're gonna next blend that out those um, that outer corner with that Morphe M506 and taking more of that shade called mood from the be perfect palette to blend out the eyeliner um, and then I'm gonna go into this Morphe white eyeliner and this is a fun part. It's time to create the, the cheetah print um, So pretty much you guys create I do like two um, C's you know like the letter C um, Like right next to each other as you guys can see here and then just applying like little dots um, And that's it <laughs> you don't have to do you can also leave a C like I did right there by itself um, like just half a C um, or you can do two um, but this is really easy um, if you guys want to try this out. I promise you it is really easy once you get the hang of it um, And then we'll go into grind the this heavy metal glitter liner from Urban Decay and pretty much I'm gonna apply some glitter um, in between those two C's and then I'm gonna start to create or apply some glitter um, towards that um, cut crease that we did um, and then that's pretty much it. <laughs> I finished one eye off camera and then I'm gonna go into this milk eyeliner. Um, it's just blue and I'm gonna apply this towards the lower lash line. And then um, pretty much you guys already know with whatever I created on top or these shades that I use, I do bring it towards the bottom. Oh my God, you guys, this um, pencil or eye pencil, this is from Luna Magic. I think I got it in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. This brush is so good. I love it for my under eye. Um, it blends out my under eye eyeshadow very well. 
Next, I'm going to go into 9 to 5, and it's a lip pencil from Morphe, but I'm actually going to use it as eyeliner, and I'm going to apply it in my waterline. Um, and then I'm going to go into the roller lash from Benefit, and of course, just coat my bottom lashes. Um, and you guys already know that I'm obsessed with this mascara. Um, and that's pretty much it, you guys, for today's cheetah print colorful eyeshadow look. It kind of reminds me of Lisa Frank. Is that what it's called? Do you guys remember that? <laughs> Very bright, colorful. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. Besitos, and I will see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye!